Hi everyone, Mises Anonymous here. I'm back. Well, sort of. I hope so. Anyway, I know I've been going for a long time and it's been really scary in my absence. Ooh. But I'm back and ready to criticize. So a lot's happened while I've been gone. But one of the most important things that have happened, I'll just have to show you. Kiss me first! Oh, Mama! Mama's neck is really awful! Bye, Kimmy! It's from my area! But she awful! Kiss me to Mama! I got my very first fan video! Thank you so much, Greg Gallows! For your efforts, Greg Gallows, you move up to 6th place on the list of men that I'd accept marriage proposals off. Right under Jonas, Johnny Depp, Orlando Bloom, the really hot guy that works in my, level 2 in my building, and Harry Potter. Anyway, Greg Gallows' fan video made me realize something. I have been trying so hard to make my videos enjoyable and entertaining that I have totally forgotten the real reason for video blogging. I'm supposed to be taking advantage of my unsuspecting viewers. But no more. Today, I'm wholeheartedly abusing my privilege as a video commenter. Starting with the demand for response videos. Now, Lonely Girl 15 gets criticized as being a really bad internet show. And yet they get about 10 response videos a week. My videos have been told they're better than the Bible. And yet in the six months that I've been blogging, one response video. There's no easy way to say this. Videos, please. You know what other power that I totally want to abuse? Getting my viewers to crack ridiculously obscure puzzles that take hours of work. So get ready, Meeper Crackers. I need you to work out which nail polish goes best with these shoes. No, to solve this puzzle, you need to translate the labels to Russian, rewrite the code backwards, convert to a numerical based code, go to a drop site in the Arctic Circle, then send me the answer in Braille via Dolphin. You know the best power I can abuse as a blogger? That's simple. Creating my own religion. Now I have to admit, I'm not really fluent on this particular blogging power. So, of course, I went and did some research. Turns out there's a whole bunch of guides on the internet about how to create your own religion. And it's not that hard. Okay, step one. So, the Hymn of One have their Aleister Crowley with his science and his pigeons. So I needed my deity to be equally mysterious. So after careful consideration, I decided to make someone up. Let me introduce you to the great Lord Meep Comedies, who is known to say many powerful things. Okay, step two. Now this one was tough, but you know what they say, when the going gets tough, the tough go to Wikipedia. Turns out that Wikipedia has a whole page on Meep. So basically, I decided to leech my story from there. So here goes. Okay, step three. Now the creators definitely got this step right. I mean, the Hymn of One, it's such a great name. It's got a, that whole double meaning thing, like find your song with the Hymn of One, etc, etc. There's just no way I can come up with something that clever. So instead, I'm going to do the next best thing. I'm going to slightly change the name of an already popular religion and leech off their success. So. After much consideration, everybody, welcome to Crack Catholicism, Step 4. I can't let any old person off the street come and seek religious enlightenment through Crack Catholicism. There has to be some boundaries. So if you want to join Crack Catholicism, you must be this tall. Step 5. This is also a tricky one. How am I going to fool hundreds, if not thousands of people, in believing in my fake religion? Well, I could take my cues from the Hymn of One and try some cheesy motivational videos. 
or if you try something more immediate, like brainwashing, you will believe in Catholicism. Oh, but you know what really makes people convert religions? Cool pamphlets. So check it out, people. Crack Catholicism. It's addictive. <laughs>